hi guys you're welcome back to my channel in today's video tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how you can request and get your bank statement from your uba mobile app without going to the bank so guys it's very possible for you to get your bank statement without going to the bank you can do that directly from your uba mobile app there may be one or two reasons that you would need your bank statement maybe to show proof of payment that you made to your business partner or maybe you want to confirm payment from a customer or a client you can actually check all your credits and your debits using your bank statement so guys you know that once you're in of this bank statement going to the bank might be time wasting because sometimes bank protocols are actually time wasting so guys in this video tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how you can get it from your uba mobile app so guys want to know how to do it just make sure you follow me to the end of this video and if this video is helpful to you please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment as that will help us grow our youtube channel so guys now the first step you have to take now is to tap on your uba mobile app to open it so let me tap on it in case you don't have the uba mobile app what you have to do is to go over to play store on your android device or go over to your app store to download and install it that's if you're using an iphone or an ios device so guys let me tap on my uba app right away let me tap on it so guys now the next step you have to take now is to sign in and that's with your phone number and your password so guys let me sign in right away so guys now I can see I've inputted my phone number and my password so let me tap on sign in right away. So guys now I can see I'm signed into my UBA bank account here in my UBA mobile app. So guys now the first step you have to take now is to be sure that you've added your email to this your UBA mobile app. You have to add it to your profile. So you have to check if your profile here in this UBA has your email. If it doesn't have your email, you have to impute it. So guys, it's very important to impute and add your email here in this your UBA mobile app because it's through the email that you're going to get your bank statement. Your bank statement will be sent to you through your email. So it's very important. It's of paramount importance that you add your email address. So guys, now for you to add your email address, what you have to do now is to tap on your UBA profile icon. You can see there at the top left corner, the arrow is pointing at it. You have to tap on it. So guys, let me tap on it right away. So guys now you can see this is my profile this is where you're going to find all your information your basic information like your first name middle name last name you're going to find your contact information like your phone number email and also your security number which is your bvn so guys now for you to actually add your email what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written email under the contact information you can see where it is written email what you have to do is to tap on that edit option next to the email you can see there once you tap on it you'll be able to add and impute your email so guys can see there i have no email there so let me show you guys how you can add an email so let me add an email right away well guys if you have added your email while you're creating your bank account you're going to most likely find it here but in case you don't find it you don't need to bother about it just add your email then you'll be able to receive your bank statement through that email so guys let me add my email right away so guys what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written email address in order to add your email address so let me tap on it then let me impute my email address right away you can also impute the email address that you use in creating your bank account in case you don't find it here. So let me impute it right away. So guys, after you're done typing it in, then tap on save. So let me tap on save. So guys, now you can see, success, email has been updated successfully. So let me tap on OK. So guys, now let me show you guys how you can request and get your bank statement emailed to you in few seconds. Once you tap on request, your bank statement will be sent to you in few minutes, in less than a minute or less than two minutes, depending on the bank and how fast the network is at that time. So guys, now let me go back now. Let me show you guys how you can do it. So guys, here again, I'm in the home page of my UBA mobile app. So guys, now the next step that you have to take now in order to request for your bank statement and get it is to tap on where it is written more. You can see that four horizontal bar below written more you can see there on my right hand side the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on this right away so guys now under this now what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see self service you can see there that's the second option the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written bank statement you can see there that's the second option the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see what is written here send the bank statement to you can see they have three options there you can see the first one is to my email the second one is to financial institution the third one is embassy so you can see you can actually send your bank statements to any embassy in case you want to make a travel to most of these foreign countries and you can also send your bank statement maybe to any other bank that you want to send it to but since we need this for our personal use they have to send it to our email address so guys what you have to do right away now is to choose the first option which is my email so guys let me tap on the first option you can see where the arrow is pointing at so let me tap on it so guys now you can see what is written here get bank statement for you 
can see my name and you can see my account number so guys all you have to do now is to choose the time duration for your bank statement you have to choose from when to when from what date to another date that you want your bank statement for most persons they want it within two months three months four months five months but the maximum time duration you can get your bank statement for is one year you can see what is written there you can see that in cycle area you can see what is written there it is written the statement is available only up to one year back from today so you can only get your bank statement one year back from today that means if today is what's today's date um, let me scroll down today's date is um march 23rd so you can only get your bank statement from march 23rd 2023 to march 23rd 2024 you can see the duration is one year the maximum time duration is one year so guys now let me impute my time duration for my back statement let me impute from the 1st of march to the 23rd of march which is my present day i want to see my bank statement from the 1st of march to the 23rd of march so guys what you have to do now is to impute the form you can see where it is written from so let me tap on it so guys now i can see they've displayed the calendar so what i have to do now is to choose the date i want so i want it from 1st of march this 2024 1st of march 2024 to the present day which is today so let me choose first let me tap on first so guys now you can see i've chosen first so let me tap on ok so guys now the next step to take now is to add the second date so let me tap on where it is written to let me tap on it so guys yet again you can see the calendar so let me choose the second date oh since i want it to be today so let me leave it at 23 since today is 23 but if i want any other date maybe i want it on the 20th which is um three days back i can choose 20th so let me leave it at 23 i want it today so guys let me tap on ok so guys now you can see i've chosen my time duration from 1st of march 2024 to 23rd of march 2024 that's what i want my bank statement to carry so guys now what you have to do next now is to tap on where it is written send statement remember that i said that the bank statement will be sent to your email so make sure you've added your email before going ahead to actually request for this so guys now let me tap on send statement right away so guys here you're required to impute your password your transaction passcode the four digit code that you normally use to do transaction here in this uba mobile app that four digit password you have to impute it here but in case you don't want to use the pin you can tap on that arrow there to see more option to see more authentication method so let me tap on that arrow there to show you let me tap on it so guys now you can see you can either use pin or secure pass you can see this is another authentication method but guys i want to use the four digit pin my four digit transaction pin that i normally use to make transfer in my uba app so let me go back now let me tap on the arrow right again so guys now you can see it's back to the four pin authentication method so let me go ahead now to impute my four pin let me go ahead now to impute my password So guys now you can see i've imputed my password you can see i've imputed my passcode so what i have to do now is to tap on good you can see where the arrow is pointing at so let me tap on it so guys now you can see it's loading so guys now you can see what is written here success your request has been submitted successfully so guys now you can see we've successfully requested for our bank statements using our uba mobile app so guys what you have to do right now is to go over to the email that you imputed the email that you used in creating your bank account what you have to do is to go over there and get the email and get your bank statement so guys now let me tap on ok so guys now let me go over to my email now to show you guys the bank statement that was just sent to my email the bank statement that was just emailed to me right now let me go and show you so let me go over to my gmail app right away let me go over to my gmail app here is my gmail app um here is it okay guys you can see it there so let me tap on it wow guys you can see the email right there you can see it my bank statement at uba group so guys can see it my bank statement so guys can see the time it was sent 3 35 pm and you can see my time up there 337 so guys can see it was sent two minutes ago so guys now let me tap on it now to show you guys my bank statement so let me tap on it so guys now i can see the email so guys now i can see i've opened the email this is the email so guys what i have to do now is to scroll downwards you can see the file you can see your bank statement file you can see the bank statement is in pdf file so what you have to do now is to download it you can see the download icon there the arrow is pointing at it once you tap on download it's going to be downloaded into your phone so you can be able to have access to your bank statement so guys now i can see this is how you can actually get your bank statement this is how you can request to your bank statement and get it directly here from your youtube mobile app without going to the bank so guys now i've come to the end of this video and i believe you got value from this if you did make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment and also if you're new to our youtube channel don't forget to hit the bell notification so that whenever i release a new video like this you're gonna get notified see you next